Hey Winter Warriors, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Winter Survival. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope, hopefully you guys are enjoying the new update for the Christmas update and a couple of other little bits and pieces that have been added into the game. I do apologize, it's been a little bit between my videos uh, since I've been able to upload. Now the reason for that is that I actually lost my previous game. So simply put, I wasn't able to recover my game for whatever reason that may have been. What had happened was if we dive right into the um, the old menu as soon as I locate where what I'm supposed to be looking for, um, not over here, but um, menu, 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 there's a little menu cog. I know it's here, I just don't know where it is. Oh. <laughs> Um, I should be a little bit more diligent in the way that I should be where I should know where everything is right about now But I do not know Where I'm supposed to be looking at for the menu itself. Anyway um, As well, so I'm sort of trying to you know work that out basically what had happened was I was originally on Oh, there it is. It's up there. You, you silly person. Anyway <laughs> I was on server 2 and basically what had happened was server 2 is my actual um well recommended server for where i'm playing in a, based in um uh, australia which would be uh asian uh pacific um so that basically where i was supposed to have my game set up and which i did and what had happened was one day i went to log into the game as you normally do and basically i was faced with a um a forever ending never ending, sorry, loading screen. So basically with that being said, I wasn't able to get into the game whatsoever, even left it on the desk for a while just to see if it actually loaded in and nothing ever happened. So I reached out to the developers, for, um, try to get a understanding of what was going on, see if they could help me out. They did sort of respond back to me and gave me a few troubleshooting options. They gave me a, um, they even went as far as gave me a uh, APK client to see if that would actually get things going again. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, Server 2 was um, a no-go for me. Now, I don't know if anyone else has experienced that themselves. Um, hopefully, you guys haven't, and it's only just me. But what I ended up doing was the only way I could actually get back into this game was uh, do a complete fresh fresh install I had to clear my data wipe the cache I had to do the whole lot because even if even that being said I was able to get into a server one setting but I couldn't get any of my recovery files loaded up or anything like that so um, that's basically what happened in a nutshell so I had to start from scratch and I'm pretty much back to where I was before the last video so sort of wanted to touch base with that uh, with you guys in that respect there also, what had happened was um, in between some of these videos that I have been uploading, I have been getting a series of copyright claims against my videos of Winter Survival. Now, the only reason for that is the music that the developers have added are not um, free to um, uh, utilize in the game. So if as a content creator for myself, I am not able to, well, I am, uh, able to have the music playing in my videos however I'm going to get most likely um, hit with a copyright claim now I have actually um, disputed all the ones that have been disputed against me and have been overturned since I am waiting on one more for that to be flicked over but I think for now I had to have turned off the music setting for now which is going to be a little bit annoying you won't hear the music coming through the game it is um, what it is but I just wanted to sort of be clear and give you guys a bit of an understanding of what's been happening with me now game wise there has been a few uploads of um, the update there they have added a, um, a few new features within the game tweaked a few settings and things like that um, revamped a few zones I believe they've added the volcano zone the foot of the volcano now um, from reading the comments on the Facebook page, not everyone has got this update or this version of the update that can actually see the volcanic um, uh, uh, area. I'm not able to see that zone opening, so I can't actually show you as I really I would have wanted to in the first place. So a few little bugs and, and bits and pieces here that are sort of um, preventing us from actually getting maximum usage out of the game and allowing us to actually play the game. So. 
I do apologize with that, um, with some of the things I haven't been able to do um, for the last week or so. Um, I was fortunate enough to actually have a few videos um, set up behind me to, um, that I actually pre-recorded. So I was able to sort of use those in the intro to sort of get the, um, get the videos by. But again, as I said, there was a bit of a lull and that was the reason for that. So look, now that you guys are up to speed, we're gonna get into this new video. What I wanted to sort of touch on today is I do have a little quest that I need to do, um, which is basically portraying that I need to set up the incubator, uh, incubator for the dragon. So I really wanna get that happening. Dragons are gonna be a big thing in the game moving forward. Um, yes, for now, we've only got one dragon to speak of. I would assume in the future that um, as the game expands, there are going to be a lot of other um, iterations of dragons, maybe other elemental dragons. We might have, you know, maybe a thunder dragon or an ice dragon like in Game of Thrones, something like that. That would be really, really cool. So for now, we've only got a fire dragon, which is obviously you, you're pretty much your stock standard. My guy's losing... Um, uh, thirst and um, hunger quite rapidly so um, I think I might have something that I can do to remedy that um, I actually don't um, oh, actually I do what am I saying so I'm just gonna go ahead and just drink up that uh, real quickly just get back that up to a hundred percent and I've got some meats here that I'll be able to utilize so my hunger should be okay from there there we go there we are, we should be fine for a little while now. Um, so right now what I'm actually doing is um, setting up some charcoal, getting that all organized. Uh, so I'm burning um, a whole bunch of wood. So I do need to do a, uh, a wood run just to farm. The best possible way for you guys to actually get enough um, wood is to visit the, um, the temporary um, uh, timed event, which is the Blizzard Transit. There are two types, there are two different um, difficulties. You need the one skull, which is the Blizzard Transit. Um, realistically, all that you need, if you can, is set yourself up with at least stage one clothing. That's all you really need. Um, I don't think, you don't really need to have full decked out. I think you can pretty much get away with, um, if you've got, say, like pants, um, shoes, possibly even the... Um, uh, the, the vest there, I think you should be okay, but don't quote me on that, but I've just gone ahead and just set myself up, uh, fully. And at least this way, I don't have to worry about being cold. Now, all that you need is just a spear. Make sure that you bake it within the campsite as well. So it increases the, the attack. Um, and you've only got a bit anywhere between one to three enemies that you have to deal with in that blizzard transit timed event. Once done, you can loot up everything that's there. There's a whole bunch of food. As you can see, I've got over here um, a lot of um, meats that I've stored up over time. I have been actively using them. And um, you get at least anywhere upwards of about 120 pieces of wood. That is beneficial for you guys. You can just stick it in auto once you hit level 9 and let the um, your character go in and do what he needs to do. And once that's done, what I would do for long, uh, long stints that you're not playing the game, chuck some wood in. Um, burn some charcoal up and then use your charcoal to burn up more wood to create more charcoal You'll find this would be a very key point in the game that you need to sort of um, uh, Sort yourselves up uh, very early on so this will set you up for um, Future t uh, things into the game what you need to craft when you want to craft up meats and things like that even water when you've um, collected snowballs and empty water skins things like that so uh, very basic thing, but I figured that that might be a really good call out that you guys might want to know if you don't know that already. Anyway, I've delayed the inevitable uh, for long enough, so let's get to it. want to do a couple of things first before we get started, a couple of prerequisites. I need to upgrade um, one of the flooring there just so I can get uh, the incubator set up. Now, what I need for the incubator is a few things. So I've already got the stones ready to go. And I just need these crystals and this mithril here, which I believe the mithril should be there, which is right where it should be. And I just need to grab some of the crystals that I've got over here. So crystal number one, crystal number two, and let's go ahead and learn that first off, craft that secondly. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and get this one uh, set up. Oh, you don't need level one. Oh, sorry, level two. But that's okay. 
it looks nice so I'm just going to plop it there and away we go. So let's go ahead and quickly have a look at this one here. So basically it's going to take some time for this to go through so we're actually not going to see this today. Um, so I believe it takes a couple of days um, for it to actually incubate and then you'll be able to have the egg um, turned into a dragon. So right now it is a stoned artifact um, but basically we're going to get that changed um, in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these crystals because I think I need every single one of these. And this is part of the changes to what the developers have done for new starters in the game. So this would include myself now. Now I never got this originally when I first started playing the game. So um, we've got the appraiser here and this identifies certain things and all that sort of stuff, which in this case at the moment would be um, the strange rock, which will change it into a um, egg. Basically, this was broken. You just fix it up. Away you go. You had all the crystals pretty much laid out around here in the middle of the um, of your campion. You just obviously pick them all up and then away you go. And that's pretty much it. You pretty much are given everything that you need to get yourself started to uh, more or less um, get yourself your very own dragon, which is awesome. So we're just going to go ahead and get all that done. That's pretty much it. And now I can finally get this out of my inventory because you can't actually put it in anywhere else except um, on your persons, which is a bit of a pain. Let's go ahead and identify. Boom. We've got ourselves an egg. Now we're going to try and hatch it. So let's pull that out, put it back there. Now, I don't know if you can actually put that away, which is... Let's just go and try that out for whatever reason, if you wanted to do that. No, you can't. So you can only store that in the backpack. So it is what it is. Um which I would have suspected that would have been the case anyway. Um, now, let's go over to our little incubator that we have there. Oh, by the way, finished off my little snowman, and I've got to head over to the Christmas zone to collect some more gifts, uh, sorry, more decorations to finish off the Christmas tree. Now, I'm hopeful that I'll get this all done before the event finishes, but because I had, I think it would have been about four days, maybe five days before I decided just to restart the game, um, there has been a few days that I've missed out on, so I'm not too sure how well I'm going to finish that off. So we'll see how we go with that anyway. Um, I'm going to need the mithril again. Oops, my bad. Let's just go back and grab that. Um, I thought I was done with that, but not so much. Uh, mithril, mithril, there you are. And let's go over and get this one sorted out. Okay, so one, two, three, and egg, hatch. So it's gonna take two days for this to be completely done. So yeah, um, in that time, while that's happening, you can see now that it's um, eliminated and you know setting itself up there. Um, we can sort of focus our attention over to the, um, the dragon pen. And we're just going to need a few things to get ourselves going. Well, I, I do need to find one more mithril piece. That's one thing I need to look for. Brass I've got in this, um, the slate I have. And I need to find more crystal of fire, which I'm going to have to start doing a bit of farming. So I've got a couple of days before that actually has to become a thing. I don't think I've got anything in my inventory that's going to give me um any bits and pieces here a lot of these are just ad watching which is another big thing that you probably want to sort of look into um so i've got one there from the service manual which is fine so that might help me but then again i still need to find one more for me to complete that and then i just got to find some more mithril and i think we'll be ready to go but um if i go into the the book over here um, so I have done that. I've got to craft a floor, solid wall, and, um, oh, should have done that when I was creating my base, because I did tend, I did decide to, uh, oh, so you actually get mithril a little bit further on. Um, I did decide to sort of build up my base a little bit, so what I might probably end up doing is just break a section out and just fix that up, so I think that might be, um, the way to go. So, we can actually do that now, so I think that might be a good option so let's just go ahead and click on one of these uh, break it down break that down 
that broke down the whole lot there, which that I wasn't actually wanting to, um, you know, for that to happen, which is a little bit of a pain, but that's okay. So let's just for the sake of doing things, let's just make it happen. There we go. One more. And we've got the door slap back on. Perfect. Uh, solid wall. Oh, that's what I should have done. Okay. Um, let's just go back into here. Break down that wall. And just add one more wall. Which would be this fella here. There we go. And I got my points. Cool. And it's just going to tell me to do some uh, trousers and things like that. Which is fine. But... I'll go ahead and claim those, which I've just got the mithril required, and that, everything's been sent to my inbox, and I need to get to level 8 so I can get to more uh, crystal of fire, so if I keep cracking on with that, I'm sure I'm going to get to level 8 without a problem, uh, to be honest, that's probably going to be the be my best play without sort of trying to find um, anything in any sort of zonal area. But let's, uh, let's head out anyway. I just wanted to see if there's any events that might pop up. Um, especially if the Blizzard Transit does pop itself up. Um, we'll be able to head over and I'll be able to at least show you guys what's what. Um, let's just throw everything back into their little um, respected areas. I'll probably leave the Mithril over here now. And I'll just sort of drop a few things in here. Actually got one of these little bad boys in one of the daily rewards, which is um, the Rune Sword. Uh, pretty decent looking weapon, if, uh, if you don't say, if I don't say so myself. Um, so let's just eat that. Okay, so we're good. Um, so we'll head out. But yeah, um, I'll probably just hold off on using that type of weapon until it's really necessary or required of me to do so. If there's a really extreme boss that I sort of need to, you know, handle. Um, right now, there's really no events that have popped up, um, which is unfortunate. Everything sort of looks the same as it has been, but there have been a number of events that have been popping up quite often. Um, but yeah, here there should have been like a little zone element here that I should have been able to tap on for us to get to the foot of the volcano. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I don't know if that's uh, been randomly generated for some select few that I've got the, um, this certain update, so that I'm not too sure of. Um, so with that being said, I'm not too sure what to sort of make of that, unfortunately. So it is what it is. There's not much that I can do with that until they, uh, sorry, the developers themselves decide to throw up another update and they that might resolve a lot of the issues that we've been having or experiencing in the recent time. Um, I don't suspect that there's going to be any sort of, um, oh no, this hasn't refreshed yet. I've actually cleared this. <laughs> uh, that's fine. So we'll, we'll, we'll run out anyway. Um, where should I actually go today? Um, you know what? We might see if we can suss out. I did go to the village of Burke as well and that has actually been changed there was a um a lower level there was like a cave in a um area that allows you to get more crystals and things like that now i don't know what's going on with that to be honest with you um so that i can't really explain or really tell you exactly what's going on with that but um i don't know if you have to read any of the um um the scripts and things like that that you got when you first started the game uh, when you first sort of entered the camp zone here. So I haven't actually done that. So we may as well go have a bit of a look. And let me see if I can read that there. And if it does open up the village of Burke, at least that gives me another opportunity to make uh, more content for you guys. So this is what I was sort of referring to here. So if I use that here, basically it's just giving us um, a bit of a lore um, scripture of the game. And I think that's pretty much all that this is sort of going to give us here. So, um, found some clues in the ancient block of village of Burke. There is an ancient royal dragon clan. Um, dragon must be, uh, must not be extinct. Fellow mockery families misunderstanding and damn where they drive me crazy. Okay, needs prophets. I want to be it. 
Fair enough. And then I've got this one over here. Um, so clear difference between this valley. Da, 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 da. Circle shaped building is probably the dragon's nest. Raising yep, uh, dragons can change the temperature around the area. I'm not too sure how it works. Okay. And then I had this one here. Um, and then, yep, poly dragon egg. And a cow explaining how to hatch it. And yeah, and it had me for them. I was in a secret room the last time. Color of the walls obviously different from the others. So I don't know if that sort of makes any difference if you sort of were to go back to that. But I remember in the previous update before they updated to the latest version that you were able to go into the village of Burke and um, and go down a secret passageway. Now, like I said, I don't think that's changed here. So we're not going to get into that today, but I just sort of wanted to point that out. Anyway, I just sort of give you guys a bit of an idea of what I was sort of thinking. If you guys have any further information on that, let me know in the comment section because I'll be interested to know. But like I said, I had gone to that zone um, a few days ago just to check it out. But I didn't see any sort of indication or any sort of lead in for me to go down into a secret passageway. So yeah, a little bit disappointing there, but I'm sure there's something that might be there unless if they've actually um, closed it off. Who knows so I'm wanting to hear back from you guys so if you guys can let me know that'd be fantastic but I think that's gonna go ahead and leave it for today because I think we've spent a little bit um, on this one so I'm not gonna further um, go through anything else today um, I'll work out what I want to do next and sort of go through that hopefully we'll get the dragon set up um, within the next video so at least that way I can show you guys the new dragon um, I'll probably have to go back and do a few things for myself um, just to further progress on uh, through the little um, little missions and quests that I've got there so I'll sort of get onto that and hopefully by then I'll be ready for the dragon soon enough but with that, that out of the way be sure to um, hit the like button comment down below share the video if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos Okay, see you guys, take it easy. This would be technically New Year's Day for a lot of people, so happy New Year. Um, unfortunately, I didn't say that early in the video, so I do apologize, but hopefully you guys have a great 2020. With that being said, take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.